In terms of the development of, of digital technology to improve the delivery of healthcare, Liverpool's right at the, the cutting edge of developments in healthcare in this sector. We want to be the most digitally advanced health economy in the country within the next few years, and we're already quite some way towards achieving that. And I guess the highlights for me are that we're already creating and sharing an electronic patient record way ahead of many other places so over 14 million records shared outside their original source original source is usually general practice but more and more our hospitals and our social workers and our community teams are recording information about patients digitally and we're able to share that to vastly speed up and make more safe decisions that we make about patient care I suppose a lot of the other things that we're proud of are around the way that technology has enabled us to transform patient pathways. So the most obvious example of that is the telehealth work that we've done. So this is where we looked at the frailest people in society, people with long-term conditions who are frequently admitted to hospital, whose quality of life is rubbish when they're in an outer hospital. They don't want to be in an outer hospital. And also it costs the system an awful lot of money. So what we did was we applied some simple technology that takes recordings of blood pressure, oxygen levels, blood sugar, simple things that your doctor or nurse could do and we do it in the house and with a bit of clever technology it goes back to a call center and there they can be looked at and triaged and we can see if we need to get some support into that patient's home so very often we're sending a nurse out to a patient who's getting poorly before they even know they're getting poorly and what we've seen is two things the first one which is the one that i'm most excited about is that 90 percent of the patients who experience this feel better able to care for themselves and the other one that the system's most happy about because it saves money is that we have a 30% decrease in hospital admissions with those patients. And I can't think of a single medication that I could prescribe that could reduce someone's risk of hospital admission by 30%. So this is use of simple technology available now. There's nothing cutting edge about the gizmos that we put in people's houses, but it's actually the way that we apply that to changing patient care. And that's got to be the key difference. For the most part, Patients don't necessarily even need to notice a difference. When they will see a difference is when that frontline service changes. And I think the changes that we're going to see to frontline services are in terms of how people interact with healthcare services. So about 30,000 people in the city now are booking appointments, looking at their own medical record and sorting out their repeat prescriptions using an app on their smartphone or going onto the computer at home. I think the other ways that it might change is that there's an awful lot of consultations that I do as a doctor that can either be done in a different way, that can be done in a different way, and that might be done through a video consultation. So you would use one of the apps that we all use on our phones like Skype or FaceTime to have a conversation and you can do a realistic triage as to whether you need to bring that patient in and lay hands on them. Some consultations don't need to happen at all. And with a little bit of self-care advice delivered through the kind of software that can help us to make decisions, we can start to see how we can use our healthcare services differently. It's our view in Liverpool that digital technology is a massive part of the solution to that. I think the Healthy Liverpool programme has driven some of this because we realised at an early stage that the change that was needed was going to be enormous. Change to all elements of the way we deliver healthcare, from the way we work with our colleagues in the City Council to help people make the right decisions about their health in terms of physical activity and smoking and alcohol and other things, all the way through to the very high level high quality hospital care we deliver in the specialist end of, of the healthcare spectrum. And all of that needed to change and we realised at an early stage that that change on its own wasn't going to work with paper systems, with fragmented systems and with people not being able to communicate. So that's what drove the early successes in the digital programme through the Healthy Liverpool programme. And I think it's the right time in the city region as well. We have an economy in the city region that has a very, very, very strong creative and digital function. So some fantastic app development companies, some fantastic virtual reality companies. New media is a big thing in this city. And we didn't have that in the 1980s, the last time we run out of money. So I know that if I've got a problem that I need a bespoke technical solution for, I don't have to ring Manchester. I can get it on my own doorstep. From a digital technology point of view, Actually, if you compare the costs of some of the things that we buy, some of the, the software, some of the technology that we buy with two nights in an intensive care unit, it's almost always far more efficient to do things using digital technology. And the simplest example of that is the savings that we've made on stamps across our acute hospitals just by sending our discharge summaries through a secure form of email. And it's a no brainer. It's the way most of us do business now when we're not in, in clinical practice. But all the trusts have been able to write off a load of money that they're not spending on stamps and envelopes. And that's a, a, 
a very simple end of the cycle. So if you imagine that you could potentially discharge that complex patient from intensive care four days early because you can step them down to a digitally enabled telehealth home where you can monitor them remotely, then you can start to see how those savings could rack themselves up in a, in a much, much bigger scaled up way. And having within our city region um, two adult and one children's hospital with the global digital exemplar status is massive for that because it's all very well us doing it in general practice and in the community, but if we don't join it up with our colleagues in hospitals and make the entire patient journey as simple as we can. Notice I said simple rather than digital. It's the simple that's important, but we make it as simple as we can. Only then will we start to, by improving quality, save money. Then if you think about the jobs and the wealth creation for our economy, the, the possibilities are endless. And we know that the best thing to improve the health of a geographical area is to get everyone a job and get them working. And if you combine that with the biocampus development on the site of the Royal Liverpool and the Port of Liverpool work that's going on at Liverpool Waters, you can start to see how, unlike in the 1980s, the city's future is really bright and we've got a vitally important part to play in that.